tell me, fresh off a new contract and you smack one in the top corner like that. Couldn't have gone much better today, could it? Yeah, I mean, um, the most important thing, of course, was to win the game. Um, we've done a lot of homework on them and the last two performances I thought we'd been excellent. We played against a footballing side in Nottingham Forest, did well against them and last week it was a battle against Burton and again, Brentford, a really good footballing team. We felt as if the game was made for us today and it was a real good effort from everybody, 1-11. to um, we defended really well as a team and it grows up. You're correct, massive team effort, but just talk us through that first goal. Yeah, um, ball's come to me sort of on the half turn and I've I've just tried to drive at him and I've had another touch and I've just reversed it across, something I like to practice and fortunately for me it's winning. Where would you rank it amongst the goals you've scored in your career? Um, I'm not sure to be honest, I don't really think about if, if I could chip in with a few great but I just want to win games for the club, that's all I'm focused on. How much has it done for the dressing room winning these three games? You've come in positive frame of mind, obviously coming from yeah. Barnsley doing well but it must have done a lot for this dressing room these three wins. Massively, um, even to be honest, the day I come back, first day in training, the standard was sky high. Um, I think sometimes in football you just need a lucky break and maybe the farthest game was a catalyst but Everyone who's come in has been great. Um, some real unsung heroes, you know, Sean McDonald, brilliant, covered every grade of blast as Grasso yeah. as did Perks and Max, and and everyone defended really well. Um, Griggy worked tirelessly, you know, up top and didn't get his rewards today, but on another day he would. But everyone's been great, um, working hard, and you can see young Connolly's come in and. You know, he's playing like he's played all season, he's been brilliant and the goalkeeper who's come in as well has been everyone's been brilliant, the you know, the way he defended, everyone's been great. Um then obviously, you know, the the more senior lads in the dressing room, you know, your your centre halves and Stevie, Bucko, everyone everyone's been great really, just putting a really good shift in. Mention everyone's been great. Fans at the end there really drove you home, didn't they? And they were singing your song a lot as well. Yeah, massively. Um they was putting pressure and um to put the big man up top, which I thought Bernie and Bucko dealt with him great, and Morgan who's come on dealt with him great, because um, we knew they was just going to throw everything at it. They tried to play football against us, and that didn't work. So they threw everything at us, and the fans were incredible today, and they have been, well, last season and every time I've seen them, um, and it's a great win today. Mm -hmm. Long way to go in this season, but you've made a great stride over the last fortnight, moving out of the relegation zone with this win today. Yeah, um, you know. Confidence is high, as long as we can just keep performing, keep playing well. Um, the manager said he wanted different goal scorers. Um, I've got on the score sheet today. I thought Michael Jacobs was close with a few. He could have had a brace, but he, he played another brilliant game. And I think that's the last thing now for him, adding goals to his game, unstoppable. Um, but the real confidence around the place. And to be honest, you know, there the was when I came in, believe it or not. Um, the first training session, everyone was upbeat, everyone was confident. Sometimes in football, it's just the roll of the dice.